Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about how to use a load cell and HX711 load cell amplifier with Arduino to make a simple digital weighing scale. So this is the load cell I'm talking about. This is a four wire bat type strain gauge load cell. These ones come in different weight ratings. For example, this is five kilograms. This one is here is this is 10 kilograms. So others can come up to a few hundred kilograms or another than grams so they come in different weight ratings a load cell is simply a sensor that converts a force into electrical signal and that signal can be read by a microcontroller normally the signal that is output from the load cell is usually very small or very minute we need an amplifier to make that signal better for easy detection by a microcontroller like arduino so that's the use of this hx711 load cell amplifier this one here so this amplifier has two pinouts this side is where you connect our load cell and this side is where you connect the microcontroller, for example Arduino. For example, in this case, you are going to be using a four-wire load cell. In other words, uh, the load cell we are using has four wires. We have red, black, white and green. When you are connecting to the amplifier, you are going to connect the red wire to E+, plus, the black wire to E-, minus, the white wire to A-, minus, and the green wire to A+. Plus. And this side is the one that is going to be connected to the Arduino. This side is ground, this is data output, clock, and VCC. So connecting this amplifier to Arduino is very simple because it only uses the two-wire I2C communication. So before proceeding, let's first look at how this sensor works and how we can be able to calibrate it. We are looking at a, a four-wire bar type strain gauge load cell. This cell uses the change in resistance to be able to measure the force being applied. That change in resistance is measured using the strain gauge. So this is the strain gauge. It is simply an electrical component whose resistance changes when it undergoes a mechanical strain from an applied force. The strain gauge consists of a thin metal conductor foil attached to a flexible backing material known as the carrier. Electrical leads are soldered to the foil allowing current to flow through the strain gauge. So whenever the surface of this gauge undergoes tension or compression forces, the strain gauge will deform accordingly, leading to variation in electrical resistance that corresponds to the changes in the surface dimensions. This is the major component responsible for measurement of resistance in the load cell. Next, I will talk about Whitstone Bridge. This is one of the basic principles of electronics, so I won't go too much into details of how the Wheatstone bridge works. I will just be showing the relationship between this bridge and the load cell. So this is the general circuit of a Wheatstone bridge. It is simply two voltage dividers wired in parallel with a common voltage source. If you compare these two diagrams here, yeah? so this is the setup for our four-wire bat type straight gauge cell. So the load cell, instead of the resistors, we are going to use strain gauges. So we have four strain gauges representing the four resistors of the Wheatstone bridge. Normally when the Wheatstone bridge is balanced, it means all the resistors are equal. And in that case, the current flowing through the branches A, C and B, and this other branch A, D and B, the current is equal. Therefore, there is no potential difference between the point C and D, and the output voltage will be zero. However, when the resistance of any of these resistors changes, that means there's going to be a potential difference at these points. In that case, the output voltage will be given by this equation. That same principle can be used when setting up your bat type load cell. When setting up this type of load cell, you should leave enough room for the load cell to bend when subject to the force. So one end of the load cell will be fixed and the other end will be left suspended with the platform where you're going to be placing your weight. So whenever you apply a force or a weight on the load cell, it will undergo some kind of bending or deformation. Therefore, some of the strain gauges will undergo compression and others will undergo tension forces. And because of this, they are going to have a change in resistance. So whenever there's a change in resistance in the arms of the Wheatstone bridge, that means there's going to be a voltage difference at this point and this point. Therefore, there's going to be an output voltage which can be got using the equation I've already shown you for the working of the Wheatstone bridge. So in simple terms, that's how our four-wire bat type strain gauge load cell works. Before using the load cell as a weighing scale or any other application, we need to first calibrate the load cell using a known weight in order to get the calibration constant that will act as our reference point for any other future measurements. So in this case, I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate our load cell using Arduino. So the setup is simple here. We shall just connect the load cell to Arduino via the HX711 load cell amplifier. The four wires from the load cell will be connected to the one of the one end of the amplifier where the red, red wire will go to E plus, the black wire will go to E minus, then the white wire will go to A minus and the green wire will go to A plus. 
Then this other side of the amplifier is going to be connected to the Arduino board. The black wire is the ground going to Arduino ground. Red is the VCC which go to 5 volts of Arduino. Then the blue wire is the data output which is go to Arduino Dicto pin 4. And the green wire is the clock pin which goes to Arduino Dicto pin 5. I've used Dicto pin 4 and 5 because those are the default pins that have been defined in the library that I'm going to be using to calibrate the load cell as I'll be showing you in the code shortly. You can check out the schematic for further reference. Now let's have a look at the code that you're going to be using to calibrate this load cell. This is the code we are going to use to calibrate our load cell using the HX711 load cell amplifier and Arduino. Before using this code, you need to make sure that you have this library installed in your Arduino IDE. hx 711 library. I'll put a link in the description below where you can be able to download this library. So after downloading this library and including it in your Arduino IDE, then you go to File, Examples, and look for hx 711 Then you look for the calibration example. That's the one you're going to be using. And after that, upload it to your Arduino board. After uploading, open the serial monitor. Okay. Then you also make sure that uh, your serial monitor has the correct bound rate of 37,600. Otherwise, you'll be seeing this kind of gibberish or an unidentified code here. If you have put the right bound rate, then you can be able to see this kind of instructions here for calibration. First, they will tell you to send T to the serial monitor. So you type T, enter. That is going to tire the load cell. Then they are going to tell you to place a known mass on the load cell. In my case, I'm using 100 grams calibration weight. So it's the one I'm going to be using to calibrate my load cell. I'll place my 100 grams weight on my load cell. Then I will go to the serial monitor and type 100. Then enter. So that's the known mass. It's 100. Then from there, you will set a calibration value of 197.37. Then you are going to be asked to, to save this to the EEP ROM of Arduino. Because we don't want to keep on calibrating all the time, we need to save this calibration factor into our Arduino. So from there, I'm going to type Y here for yes, and then enter. From there, you'll finish your calibration. And as you can see, it will be giving you an output value of 100. And if I remove here, you will see it decreases to zero because there's no weight there. Let me place it again and we see what happens. If I place again, you see, to show you 100, meaning that now calibration is done. After calibration, now we can be able to use our load cell to make our, our weighing scale. So let's see how we do that. This is the setup for our weighing scale. We are going to be using a load cell HX711 load cell amplifier, add I to C or LED, and our Arduino board. Connecting the load cell to the Arduino is done via the HX711 load cell amplifier. And that connection is rather forward. Just connect the ground to Arduino ground, VCC to Arduino 5 volts. Then the this blue wire is the data out. It will be going to Arduino pin, digital pin 4. And then this is the clock pin, which will be going to Arduino digital pin 5. We use pins 4 and 5 because those are the default pins that are being used in the library that we are going to be using for our code. The display we are using is I2C or LED. So connecting to Arduino is also very simple. Just connect the VCC to 5 volts of Arduino, the ground to Arduino ground, then the clock pin will go to Arduino analog pin 5, and the data pin will go to Arduino analog pin 4, because those two are the pins for I2C communication. After connecting here, now we are going to be looking at the kind of code that we are going to be using to be able to run this weighing scale. This is the code we are going to use for our simple weighing scale using our bat type load cell and HX711 load cell amplifier. The code is almost the same as the one we have been using to calibrate our load cell. We want to add some libraries for running our SSD1306 or LED display. So I will add these two libraries and one library from Adafruit running the display. The rest of the code is almost the same apart from this other code for the display. I will leave a link in the description below this video where you can be able to access this code. And also in case you're not very familiar with how to use the OLED display I'm using here, I have another tutorial on how to use this OLED display with Arduino. So you can always make reference. So let's upload this code to our Arduino board and see how our weighing scale works. We have now uploaded our code to the Arduino. And as you can see here, the display is showing weight and zero grams because there's nothing on the weighing scale. So now let's put our weight here and we see. 
I begin by putting our calibration weight of 100 grams and then we see what's going to be displayed here. So I put 100 grams here and you see showing 99 grams should be 9900 grams. So there's room for error. When I remove, it goes back to zero. Let me put this amplifier, that's two grams. Okay, remove, goes back to zero. That's nine grams, zero grams. Let me put this motor, 252 grams. So that's how our simple wing scale works. I hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.